you don't really have the impression you're entering a company. You would more think you enter a wellness center, a house, a home, a private home or a hotel which is cozy than a very strict normal company building. That's actually what we wanted. Stephen, what this new building here in El Porto represents for Grupo AGEAS Portugal? Well, this building means a lot. It's the outcome of three, four years hard work, being in the middle, being confronted with a pandemic, finalizing this building in a complete new way of working, and now for the end, having all people in one building. So for the first time, it's with the building in Lisbon and the building in Porto, it's the first time that all our employees all together are in this building. What you see of this building from the outside, it's a landmark. And I think it's, it's what we want to say. It shows who we are as Ajax Portugal, the kind of special meanings, the values we have, the way the culture we carry. And this building says it all. And how uh, this uh, building uh, was thought, designed, and how does it respond to, to the new waves of working? From the beginning, we wanted something different. I mean, many came with the normal buildings, a square one, uh, with floors and etc., etc. But we said, no, we want something different. We want to set a difference as we, as insurance, are also setting a difference as a standard in Portugal with the way we do things. Also, it reflects from your buildings who you are. If you enter a building, you immediately see the atmosphere, the culture that happens in a, in a company. And that's really what we wanted to tell also for the people working here, but also for all the customers and stakeholders passing by. It's a very transparent building. I mean, uh, you, you walked around to the building. There are no corners. Everybody sees each other. It's very easy to work with each other. There are some cozy places. You have meetings all over the place, so it's very flexible. People can sit, can sit out in the, in the coffee corners. They can work in a coffee corner with the coffee. It's actually more, if you come here, you don't really have the, the impression you're entering a company. The purpose is not let's build this building so our results will go up. But I do believe that happy employees make happy business. And so indirectly, probably you do more business because people feel at home, feel at ease, and they like to work for a company with a clear strategy, a mission, a vision, which puts its stamp into Portugal as to the social impact also in society, the sustainability that we're doing, the start of regenerative principles that we follow. So you start with little things to make people aware, and that's actually what's in the DNA of our company. You talked about sustainability. Yes. It's a very sustainable building. Well, it has the highest certificate of Portugal, and so we're very proud of that, that we, this was one of the prerequisites at the start of the building in Lisbon and Porto, that it would have the highest certificates of sustainability, so that's where we are, but that's not enough. That's a start. Then you have to start saying, okay, what can I do to consume less electricity? What can I do to have a lesser impact? What can I do to have less plastic, less food waste? How can I stimulate more people to take the bicycle? There's a lot of elements you have to look into. So a certificate is it's good, you need it, it's adamant, but there's so much more to do. Here in this building, you include a project with social inclusion, right? Yes. Can you explain us a little bit about this project? Yes. It's, a, it's also, again, a conceptual point that fits the strategy. What we do not want is like greenwashing or putting on the website, hey, we're this, we're that. You want to incorporate within your company social impacts that people on a daily basis they see the reality, how you do inclusion 
into your company. And therefore here, our restaurant here, our restaurant in, uh, in Lisboa, with Crescher, with uh, Café Joyeux. I mean, people see that really we give jobs to people who might have more difficulties in finding a job. It also put a reflection of people that they have to, they look upon things differently because they're part of our team. I mean, I can tell you, when I ask a coffee in Café Joyeux, the people come and they hug me and they give me a laugh. Okay, maybe you have to wait three seconds longer, but that's not a point. These people are always happy, they salute you, and it's good, it's not only to give a job to those people, that's one thing. The most important part is for all our employees to be there where they are, and that, that is a community, and that they see how they work, that they are part of society, they should not be separated. No, they're part of our team, and they feel part of AGS. And I think that is the message you want to give, that all of these people are part of our team, of our community, and with respect. And I believe this is the most important achievement that we have. Talking about business, what are currently the biggest challenges for the insurance market? The biggest challenge today for the insurance market is the year 2023, in my opinion. Inflation is kicking in very heavily. That means the cost of living will go up. The spending possibility will be lower. That people will start saving on a lot of things which they normally would not save upon. What we are doing already before that impact is we are putting more and more simple products in the market that answer a demand of people who want to have insurance but do not want to put that much money on the table for insurance. Well, for example, in, in dental we have a, a new product that has been put into the market which works extremely well. So a kind of product which you say, okay, it costs less, but at least I am covered somewhat. What will be the future strategy for your group? But the strategy is there. Eh? I mean, a group and a company goes to cycles, economic cycles, but your strategy must be the same. You know where you're going. And of course, you have to adapt somewhat left or right with the recession, with inflation, with low interest rates. For example, in the low interest rates, we adapted our products. But that doesn't mean that our strategy is changing. So the strategy is that we want to be an insurance group that is welcomed in all households in the future with an emotional bounding. That doesn't change. Whatever recession or economic crisis there is, and so this is something that we work very hard upon is, yes, how can we surprise customers in a positive way of impact? How can we have higher sustainability, regenerative principles, as well in the processes, products, and impact in society? How can we, through our foundation, have a social impact in society? These things, whatever happens, do not change. <laughs>